Hi everyone, welcome back. Now in this video, I'm going to tell you what is a socket in network programming. Now in simple terms, a socket is an endpoint of communication between two devices. Now let us consider a day to day scenario where we have two persons at different places and they want to communicate with each other. Now each of them has a mobile phone, right? Now one of them will have to initiate the communication. So maybe one of the persons over here will have to start the communication by dialing the other person's number. And after the other person accepts the call, a connection will be established between these two, right? So once a connection is established, they can start talking to each other by sending and receiving messages. So this is how a typical phone communication works. Now in this case, each of these mobile phones acts like a socket, which is simply an endpoint of communication, right? Now, similarly, if two computers want to communicate with each other over a network, then they need to have a socket at each of their ends, right? So let's say computer A and B, uh, each of them has a socket at their respective ends. Okay. Now, and since uh, we are doing Java socket programming, uh, these sockets will be a Java object. So this is a Java object over here. And similarly, this will also be a Java object which will be a socket object, right? Now, once uh, a connection is established between these two sockets, right, uh, the com computers A and B can start sending and receiving messages. Now, uh, how this uh, connection is established between the sockets, uh, that we'll see in the next tutorial. For now, just remember that for two computers to send and receive messages over a network, they need to have a socket at both the ends, that is the sender end as well as the receiver end, right? Now, how are, are we going to use the sockets for sending and receiving data? So let's say we want to send some data from computer A to B. Now in that case, we are going to use socket A's output stream, okay? And for reading data from B to A, we are going to use socket A's input stream. So we are going to use two streams over here. One is uh, the input stream or the sockets input stream, which will be used for reading data and the sockets output stream, which will be used for writing data or sending data, right? So these are the two uh, main streams, which we are going to use, uh, which are basically the Java IO streams, right? So that's it guys. Uh, this was a short introduction to sockets. So thank you for watching. See you in my next tutorial. If you liked my tutorials, do subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you for watching.